This is Nikki, a network engineer at a large data center that houses several switches. Nikki spends a large part of her day configuring and provisioning the switches manually. Sometimes manual provisioning causes errors that might compromise network security, availability, and efficiency. As the network grows, manual provisioning will cause delays in deployment of switches and congestion in the network. With the Cisco Catalyst 9200 series switches, provisioning will be rapid and seamless. Using the Day Zero provisioning wizard, Nikki can deploy hundreds of switches with ease and focus on improving the network experience. We will show how Nikki can use the wizard to provision a new Catalyst 9200 48-port switch with four 10 gigabit uplinks. First, Nikki connects the switch to a laptop using an Ethernet cable. She checks the connection through the pre-configured DHCP present on the switch. The laptop is assigned an IP in the subnet. In this example, the IP address is 192.168.1.2. The Day Zero Provisioning Wizard displays the hardware and software details of the switch such as the iOS version installed, serial number, and the modules on the switch. Nikki reviews these details and starts provisioning the switch by creating a new account. She assigns a name to the device. She configures the basic settings such as the device name, the management IP, the subnet mask, and the default gateway to access the switch using the management IP. Nikki selects the site profile based on where the switch will be installed and managed in the network. Based on the site profile that she selects, the switch is automatically configured according to Cisco best practices. Choosing a site profile allows the switch to be configured based on the business needs of the enterprise. For example, the switch could be used as an access switch to connect client nodes and endpoints on the network or as a distribution switch to route packets between subnets and VLANs. In this example, the Catalyst 9200 is deployed as a single access switch without routing. Nikki moves on to configure the switch-wide settings. In the VLAN configuration section, she can configure both data and voice VLANs. To configure a data VLAN, Nikki selects the Data VLAN option, provides a VLAN ID or range, and a name. She enters the IP address and the subnet mask. In the STP configuration section, Nikki sees default values for STP mode and bridge priority and can choose to change them. She enters the domain details and server details in the general configuration section. Nikki then enters the server and SNMP details for the switch. Finally, Nikki previews the summary of all the settings that she has selected. She does a CLI preview of the settings. Before she clicks Submit to apply the selected configurations and complete the Day Zero provisioning of the switch. With the Day Zero provisioning wizard, whether it is one switch or 50, Nikki can easily and accurately provision the switches in her network.